everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today we are in Big Red, and we're gonna be teaching the person behind the camera to be driving Big Red. So somebody once said to uh, always be training your replacement, so we're gonna take Big Red on a back road somewhere where there's not any traffic, and uh, I'm gonna make Hannah take the reins on Big Red and just try to shore the ropes and how to shift. Luckily for her, I'm here to kind of give advice for what it's worth, if it's worth much. Whereas when I first started learning, I just kind of had to learn by myself. So, we're going to a back road and we're going to trade places. Please don't kill us. Peace be with us. There you go. <laughs> we're going to die. Hope not. We're going to die. All right. So there is some traffic on this road right here. We're right by the highway, but uh, it's a long straight stretch and there's not a lot of hills. So once we go through the intersection up there, we have a little bit further of a, basically what I call a car free stretch where we aren't gonna hit any traffic. Ready? Here you go. Fine, good. Uh, I've already shown her the ropes and she actually did drive briefly down a gavel on with a fully loaded trailer on the back. Now shifting with out the trailer on and without a load on is very very different from driving bobtail. So I did unhook the trailer. It's not necessarily easier but I'd call it a little bit more safe. Oh. I feel like I'm missing something. This will have to do me. You look ridiculous. Talking. Thank you. I feel ridiculous. I think there's something in this. Oh, it's a <laughs> wiring harness. Or something. Alright, are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Gear is always the easiest because all you got to do is put it in the gear and you're good to go. Are you stressed right now? Here. I'm sensing some low level stress. We're going, we're moving. We're moving, okay. We're on the road. So, this is the Super 10 Eaton transmission and it's got the split shift. <laughs> Rookies. Jeepers, what the fuck? <laughs> You're good. Oh, I think I like second gear. We're just gonna stay here. <laughs> There's a biker up there trying not to hit him. If you do, though, he's worth 100 points. 200 to get the bike, right? 200 with the bike? Okay. Third. Now you gotta shift it. There you go. Ugh. Hey, you did it! Now, the gear range or the RPM range difference between gears is about 400 RPM. So I told her you want to try to rev it up to about 1500 to 1000. There you go. You did it. Did you skip a gear though? No. No? Okay. easier to miss gears when you're bob chilling. Good 
There you go. Very good. Okay, you got your flashers on so he knows that you're learning. All right. If you want to let him pass, just take it out of gear. That's stuck. Yeah, there he goes. There you go. Oh, that's cute. Okay, how do I downshift? It's out of 11. Are you up? Yep, just shift. Now give it gas. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what you got to do to downshift. Then downshift. I go up, take it out. Now give it gas to get it in the gear. Oh, there you go. You had to force it, but you got it to go in. Um, you should never have to force it into gear. Okay? So um, you can damage stuff by doing that. So it's not, not, and that's not awful. It's not the worst thing in the world if you do, but try not to do it. So if you want to keep shifting down, just do the button shift. There you go. Yep. Fourth. Yep, fourth. Uh. Keep trying to shift up. Try to be a little bit less aggressive on the accelerator when you do that. Yeah, it, go, it really goes. Yeah. The accelerator is touchy, just like the brakes. Oh no. Come it's okay. Out. If you don't know where you're at, just start over. I don't over. know how many there are. If you miss something, it's better just to start over. It takes practice. Just feel the motor start to pull. Right there. Now release the brake. Keep releasing the clutch, and move your foot over to the accelerator and start giving the gas. There you go. Just like that. Perfect. You're a professional. No, absolutely not. Or a natural, something. <laughs> nice. That was good. And you'll notice that some gears are easier than others. Are you in high or low? High. Okay, so all you, yep, all you got to do then is don't move the lever, just hit the button and give it gas. And there you go, you just downshifted. I want you to practice that a couple more times. Shift up. There you go. Get up to speed, and then I want you to start slowing down. Button shift, accelerator. Good. Shift up. Good. Give her gas. Get her up to speed. Slow down. So do you feel how the truck starts lurching that way? That's the time when you should be downshifting. You never want to be upshifting when you feel that pull on the truck. Now the lever shifts are just like that. They feel just like that. Except you gotta move it. Yep, except you gotta move it. And it's like seamless there. Whereas when you take it out of gear with the lever, it's gonna be, the truck is gonna be in free motion for a moment. So I actually got her using the clutch now and she's double clutching, which is technically what you're supposed to be doing. I don't really ever do it much anymore. Um, I just, I think it's easier without the clutch. But I think when you're learning like she is, it goes into gear a little bit better. She's doing really good. When you 
double clutch, what you do is if you're in gear, you're trying to shift up, you push the clutch in, you sh shift it into neutral, release the clutch, press the clutch in again, and then put it into gear. Isn't nature beautiful? Occasionally have to use the air horn because if you don't, the diaphragm inside will lock up. Especially if you get like rain and stuff in there, it'll fill up with junk. And then when you need to use it, it doesn't work. <laughs> trying to hit the Amish, I would shift down as you go by it just to give it more space. Great, and I just shifted up. Free select. Out. Yes. 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 Never mind. Nope. Yeah, let it come to a stop. Yeah. Even I like when I'm out of gear like this, I just let it come to a stop. It's easier on the truck and you don't grind anything trying to find the right gear. If you're on the highway, that's a different story because you you can't just really come to a stop, especially if you're on like a bridge or something. Perfect. My advice is, when it when you're coming up a hill like this, be more aggressive with it. Give it more gas, stomp on it, get up, get up to 2,000, and then like pre-select it at like 15, and then let off. And by the time the truck should slow down, the engine should beat it. But I haven't killed it yet. No, you yet. Y'all should, should be happy for me. Yeah, surprisingly, you haven't killed it yet. I killed it by now, so you're doing more. You're doing better than me. This guy, how much guy up there's watching you? <laughs> hey, I didn't kill it. <laughs> you don't know the struggles, man. We're learning, dude. So, like, when you hit 15, pre-select it because what you're doing is you're over-revving the engine, and then you're slowing down, and that's when you're pre-selecting it. So the, you don't like the motor doesn't release the transmission soon enough. So re give it a quick rev before you do that. What? Yep. You just. Fine. It's just a little embarrassing because there's two people watching. No, it's not. Don't look at me. Don't need to talk to me. You don't even understand. Pre-select at 15. I then, did that though. But be more aggressive with the accelerator. Like I said, you're on a steep hill. So pre-select it now. Now give it gas. Now let off. There you go. Are you gonna try it again? No. Why not? I wanna. You're just being too gentle on it. Like on these steep hills, you can't be gentle with it. Okay, so now we downshift. So. Are you in high or low? High, there's low. Just like that, good. Oh, beautiful. Yep. This is kind of a steep hill, so you don't want to downshift when the motor's pulling up like that. Yeah, that's why I downshifted at the hill. Okay. So I didn't have to downshift while I'm going down the hill. Good. In my car now would be the time I'd just be like, mm, clutch and just boom. Do it now. Nur. <laughs> Nur. Truck's too big. My car is like that big. Look at this beautiful scenery. Oh, I know. It's just a beautiful day out. The thing is with driving truck, I have been told is that every truck is different. You just kind of have to get the feel of them. So if you go and hop into another truck, you'll have the gist of it, but you won't know exactly where it comes in and out of gear at. Down should take it out. Give her gas and stick her in. Oh. Didn't go. Yep. Darn, I can't do it. Looks okay. like I'm not a truck driver. Yet. Don't worry, we'll get you made into one soon enough. Right. Someone's right. got to take over this job for me. 
Oh, okay. My favorite. <laughs> Twelve to a fly. There you go. Oh darn. She's getting better at it. It can be frustrating getting started doing this. She's not the first person I've taught, but she's doing pretty good. So we gotta head back to the farm. Beautiful. Do you know what that's from? Yeah. No. Where's it from? Little rascals? Yes. <laughs> Alfalfa. The master back at his job. Wow, you're a show off. The steering wheel's greasy from your hands. <laughs> what were you, sweating a little bit? No. No. I'm not she nervous, you're nervous. For me. I, don't, I don't know what your trouble was. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Yeah. Well, that concludes today's lesson, but we'll get you all learned up. Oh, great. Oh, great. You said you want to learn. I do, and I was, it wasn't even that hard. It was kind of fun. And it was fun? Yeah. That's good. At least we know it's you and not the truck. You're mean. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. I'm Slam kidding. the door in your face. Get your foot in there. Okay. We just took it to Senex and Lancaster, filled it up with fuel so that it's good to go for tomorrow. Um, she actually drove it up there, but we passed a cop and he started following us and she missed the downshift on the turn that we took. So we, she pulled over on the side of the road and we switched places back and I drove the rest of the way. But she did pretty good. Just wondering if you could remember how we did it in reverse order. Well, next would actually be the last, technically. Yep. There you go. She's hooked up. Cool. Last thing. All done. Boom. That's how it's done. There we go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, we'll see you next time.